Okay, again, finishing off the soprano, soprano day. Here we have a nice original lacquer, Selmer Mark VI, the holy grail of the saxophone world, soprano sax. So this one's number 267 and change, um, which puts it just past the Mark VI era, but of course they never made a Mark VII, so it's just a hair into the Mark VII era. And, um, of course, all the same stuff as the, all the rest of the Mark Sixes. Um, looks like it was repadded to come sometime. The pads look like they're in real nice shape. So, body's in real good shape. There's some, you know, typical lacquer wear, you know, around the thumb and stuff like that. But the engraving's still nice and crisp. And, again, you can tell it's original lacquer by the uh, corrosion in the, in the engraving. That costs extra. So, anyhow... Um, Again, it's probably, uh, cosmetically, it's probably, um, you know, 7.75 out of 10. Um, somebody's added the, the corks on the side keys to make them a little, a little faster. Just easy to pop them off. Just give them a little heat and they'll come off if you don't like them. Um, also on the palm keys, they added a little cork on the E-flat and the F key. Or the E-flat and the E key. E, no, F. Anyhow. Two out of the three palm keys have the, the cork risers on, which can be taken off, you know, personal preference. So, um, anyhow, this is the, the one that's made everybody, you know, the John Coltrane model and Kenny G model and all that stuff. The main thing on this is just the tone. I mean, the, the Yamaha ergonomics just kill it, but, of course, everybody that should be the penultimate um, requirement is the is the tone on it and it's just got this warm 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 sopranos tone so uh <laughs> soft as you can possibly play. All the way up to the high F sharp. The brand new model has a high G on it. Well, I, I think it just sort of be against the law. I mean, the F sharp is too high. So, but it plays plays nicely up there. And again, you just the tendency is it's hard to slow down on it because you can just play it so fast. favorite things in there. But anyhow, we're just going to play a little tune, a nice little slow one, so we can actually hear what this thing sounds like, and uh, see who wants to grab it first. Probably the least expensive um, Mark VI Soprano on the market right now. They're averaging 4 to 45 to 6. <sighs>
so anyhow, you kind of get the idea. So it plays wonderful. You've got a little place for your marching, marching job if you want. I made a special lyre to come all the way around. So I was doing a parade with one once. Um, so anyhow, you can see the side keys and everything. So it's been played. I mean, it seems like the more they played, uh, the more they're played, uh, the better they sound. And, you know, these closet horns look great, but um, they just don't have the sound of something that's been really broken in. And again, the, the, the spring work, it's just, it's just, just wonderful. It's just very nice and light. Um, it doesn't really hurt to push them down. <laughs> So, anyhow, there she is, Mark VI Soprano. I mean, they just don't make them like this anymore, probably never will. And again, they've tried to imitate it with the newer models, but uh, just doesn't seem to quite sound the same. The metal they were using back here is just gold. And um, again, this is uh, just past that Mark VI era into the Mark VII era, but luckily they didn't make a Mark VII because they would have just destroyed that market too. So um, there it is. So that's it. Um, and again, you can see pads are nice. I mean, I've overhauled a couple of these, and man, man it's just I really don't want to do it. The, the, the pads are so small that they're actually almost touching each other. And it's really hard to, to heat one without whacking the other one with the torch. So anyhow, um, that's it. And I don't see a dent. And again, usually where these get hit is right on the belt. People put them, slam them on the floor. And this one is very nice. I don't feel any work at all on there. It's got a huge uh, rim on it. They put a bead under the rim to reinforce it. And a uh, nice shape. It has the original summer case. Factory Mark VI case. I also had some Protec cases. You can see that you know that it's real leather on the ends, and they always tend to get whacked up a little bit, but uh, very functional and structurally sound. So that's it. Uh, trying to keep it short. So um, Mark VI soprano. <laughs> Beautiful sound. Probably even better with a great player on it. Bye-bye.